Welcome back to our postgame coverage of the Green Turtle Classic, our third game on this Friday night to RIT, impressive fashion over Lynchburg by a score of 16A with head coach Jake Kuhn. Let's talk about, first of all, when a, a, a fan or somebody watches Matt Hasek, how do they appreciate everything that he does for you all? Not only in the six on six game, you asked him to stop Disler on face offs and try to do some work there. Mm -hmm. how, how do you appreciate a guy that does so much and a lot of times that doesn't really get picked up in the box score? Yeah, he, he does an awful lot for us. I mean, I, he must have played out of the 60 minutes 40. You know, I mean, he, he can run for days. Um, but he just does a ton. I mean, he picks up the ball for us. He scores goals for us. He makes the right looks for us. Um, and, and most importantly, he's, he's a good kid, and he le leads by example every day. He's our hardest worker. So um, if there's anything I would, I would want a fan to, to appreciate about him is that he's a hardworking, humble kid, and, uh, you know, he, he's special. He's, uh, he's a guy we, we love having around. Talk about the balance you got on offense uh, tonight. Uh, you were able to create some things in transition. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people who look at the score sheet think that Mr. Lee has to do everything for you. But tonight didn't have to do that, and you guys still got 16 on the board. Yeah, no doubt. I was very pleased with the, the balance scoring today. Um, I thought we did a great job riding and uh, created a lot more offensive opportunities for our team. And uh, they were throwing a bunch of uh, junk at us, some, some short stick shut off. Um, something that we have been seeing a little bit of and are a little bit more prepared for now. Um, so our guys handled that much better than in the past. Um, you know, and, and I'm, I'm proud of the, the fact that we're unselfish. Uh, there's nobody out there that demands the ball and wants the ball. Um, I think we work well as a, as a group. Um, but getting those possessions, the ground balls, the face-offs, and, and off the riding game are, are key for us. Decision to shut off Stewart in the second half, that's something you all decided you were going to do coming out of halftime there and, and let them play five on five? Yeah, I mean, we, we went into the game trying to limit his touches as much as we could, and then, you know, we just decided let's, let's just face guard him. He is a, he is a serious threat with the ball. Um, if he gets the ball, as you saw, he you know two touches, he scores right away. Um, so, yeah, we, we we decided let's let's just play a five on five game and and take him out of the game as much as we can, um, you know. And big number five one there stepped up and had a bunch of goals for them in the second half. I thought he played very well, um, and uh, you know I'm proud of the defense. I thought we played stingy all day. And finally, you guys now at six and zero. Oh, thoughts on, on how you've gotten uh, to this point so far? Um, we've been grinding them out, to be honest. I mean, I think uh, we've got a scrappy group, you know, and, and the, the ground balls and the possessions are key. You know, we're, we're down our face-off guy, so we've been kind of face-off by committee, and, you know, that's been very worrisome for us, but our guys have stepped up. They've been working at it. Uh, guys like Anthony Contento and Matty Hasek and, you know, some of those other guys that really go out every day and try to get better at facing off to help the team. And, uh, you know, Contento, for example, is, is a guy who's a defenseman for us. You know, he's never taken a collegiate faceoff, and he's working on taking draws for us. Right. So um, I think that says a lot about the group we have. Um, Unselfish nature of the team? No doubt. No doubt about it. And, and uh, you know, hardworking. You know, they, they, they put in a great effort every time out. And, you know, when we're playing that way, good things are going to happen. I right, appreciate the visit. Good luck tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, Jay Kuhn joining us here as RIT knocks off Lynchburg by a final count of 16-8 to 8 here at the Green Turtle Classic here in Owings Mills.